just flip it on. Ooh, that's pretty cool. I didn't know this was transparent. that I make are too long for what they are so let's try to keep this as short as we can. So I got another package uh, from Shopee. Here it is, I'll post it on screen what I got. If you remember from my previous video, uh, my previous charger broke uh, the mounting so I ordered a new one. Alright so if we open the box, this is what's inside. First we have our unit, uh, they marketed it as uh, waterproof, hence the silicone cover for the cigarette lighter and the USB ports. It also has a voltmeter which I find important to monitor the health of my motorcycle's charging system. And if you look up here on top, just like this clear silicone encasement uh, which houses the on-off button. Now I don't know how long this would last. Uh, the quality seems to be okay but uh, if exposed under the sun for long, hopefully it's durable. At the back, you see the wires. What I like about this unit is that it already comes with terminals. So you can just put this directly in the battery and it already also comes with a fuse so you don't need to do some additional wiring. Also in the box uh, included, you can see an actual cigarette lighter. I mean, who uses one of these these days? So I won't put this on because it'll remove the waterproofness of it. But I find it nice that they actually include one of these. Then, we have our mounting hardware. And if we look in the bag, um, table. So here, we have our bar mount, which you can attach here at the bottom. Then we also have this metal bracket piece, which you put over here also at the same points. So you can mount it on your side mirror. And it also comes with this uh, 3M tape, which I don't know what for yet find out later and it comes with uh, four pieces of screw so I guess depending on which bracket you use you use a different kind of screw so let's go ahead and put it on so this won't really fit here as of the moment so I'm gonna move these things first and find a spot to mount this on Okay, I've moved my cell phone mount to the right, and now there's enough space for me to attach this. But I actually don't like how it looks when it's on top, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mount it upside down. Like this, see it's so much more cleaner looking when it's mounted upside down. Now I know a lot of motorcycle accessories were designed to be the right side up, but for me I actually mount a lot of these things uh, upside down, and they hope they start thinking about that because if you look over here, the bottom side ain't exactly aesthetic. But if it works, it works, so I'm gonna mount it this way. So before that, I'm gonna show you two mounts again. First, we have the plate mount, and then we have the bar mount. And again, we have these two screws. And I realized uh, why they're different. You get the long screw, and you put it on the tube mount. As you can see, it goes flush into the, into the indentation over there. If we use the other shorter uh, bolt, there's like a washer or a flat surface here that won't go inside so it won't flush perfectly. So for this, use the longer bolt. But if you're gonna use the plate, again if you put it here like this, you can see it actually flush to the plate, uh, these little, whatever you call these. So when you actually screw this down, it actually grabs the plate. Because if you use this, it's actually just gonna go through this little hole. So it's not really gonna clamp it down. Ah, and that's why we're also using the longer bolt because if you look here, so you guys can see that there's a gap in between uh, this and this. So if you use the short bolt, it's not actually gonna reach the other side. So again, I'm using the long bolt. All right, so it's on. I was expecting this to move around a lot, but it's actually pretty secure. So I actually don't know what this is for. But it looks like uh, for my application, uh, I won't be needing it. I thought you need to put this under here uh, so that it'll grab the bar better. But as it is right now, uh, it's already grabbing it pretty well. And if I put this, I'm afraid that I might put too much stress on this and it'll bend. And it might actually snap if I put this on. 
so I only tighten it enough so it's not moving around so much. I mean, I can I can force to move it if I wanted to, but you know the normal riding forces shouldn't jiggle it about anymore. Okay, as for the wiring, I just ran it through here, and perks of a naked bike is that it's naked, so I didn't have to remove that many flarings. Uh, just this bolt over here, so I can yank this out. And as you can see, the wire just goes through here and comes out here uh, under my seat. I just wish the wiring isn't so red because it sort of breaks the look of the front. There's that one red wire over there. You know what, I'm here anyway. I'm gonna go get some electrical tape and wrap it black just so it looks cleaner because again, you can also see that bright red wire over there and uh, it sort of distracts you from the main aesthetic of it all. <laughs> I can't believe the longest part of this install was me wrapping the wire with black electrical tape. Okay, round two. The wire is no longer obnoxious and you don't see it creeping down from under there. Actually, I think I should do the same for that green wire over there. And it goes under this thing and to our under seat or whatever you call this place. Alright, so the only thing left to do now is to install this to our battery. And for those who don't know, black means negative and red means positive. Uh, you'll see here there's a positive and a negative. So black wire goes here, red wire goes here. Alright, so let's test out if it turns on. So again, there's this switch at the bottom and we just flip it on. Ooh, that's pretty cool. I didn't know this was transparent. So apparently you can see your voltage without having to open this. Okay, so we're using the cigarette lighter. Here's the charging cable. Of course you guys won't see this, but I'll just take my word for it since I'm using my phone as my camera also. There you go. Okay, my camera is charging. Well, my phone is charging. And if I switch it to the USB port, okay, my phone started charging again. Okay, it started charging. So it works. Oh, and one last note. Uh, make sure the wire doesn't bind uh, when you turn the steering all the way left and right. So let's go ahead and start the bike and see how the voltage changes. Okay, we're in neutral. Go. And we turn this on. There we go. 12.8, 12.9. Oh, 13. Oh, cool. <laughs> so if you rev it, or 14. 14.1. Let's open it so you guys can clear it, see it better. And I don't know why it does that 05.1 thing though. Over there, but it's back to 14. Is it telling me the voltage? <laughs> Because it's a 5 volt, uh, 2.1 amp, 2.1 amp USB port over here. So I'm assuming it's going to 0.5 to show me how much uh, voltage is going through. And when it shows me the 14, it's telling me uh, how the voltage in the whole bike is doing. So yeah, 14 is a good number. So our charging system is uh, working properly. Alright, USB charger, cigarette lighter thingy successfully installed. So if you guys liked the video, you learned something new, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you're bored and have nothing else better to do, you can go watch our older videos. This is Albert from Ride Therapy Bird Adventures. I will see you guys in the next video. Kerchow.